So yesterday we discussed about the structure and what is a structure. So a class is a data type. It's a data type. Data type whose variables are objects, whose variables are objects. So when we talk about a class, you, a, your class must have a name. And then when your class, it must have a name, then you will have, it must have also values, which we can call, when I say values, which we can call them, a var it can be a variables, variables, or it can be mem variable members or member function, member functions. So let me just quickly write then cl a class. So if I can say class, uh, yesterday we were dealing with account, class account. So when we have this class account, the account is the name of our class. So in the class, yeah, as I've indicated yesterday, that you can have variables. Uh, variables. If you write your variables, I can have, let's say, int interest, like yesterday. Then I can also have uh, not int interest. Let's make them double. Double interest. Then we can also have maybe also double balance then you can also have maybe in term term so exactly the way we've defined this class we define this class and because we didn't mention that these are public these are private so our classes this class is going to take them as private so in order for us in the in our class in order for our class to be fine, I'm going to make a summary for what must happen, what a class must include. So in your class, you must make sure, try by all means to specify if a variables are private or a public. So secondly, when you working with your class, you are going to have a member function, member functions. So make your member functions to be, to be pri public and make your variables member functions to be private make your variables variables to be private private so when you make your variables to be private this means that in your class which is these variables they are only going to be accessed in your class member functions in your member functions which are within your classes so now what it means is that if i have here i can make this private my my um, um, i did my variables variables we mean only this without functions a function you will see it by at the end with this with those two brackets parentheses then i can say okay i want to have my member functions so i'm going to do my one only one member function for now just for to see how it's going to work we will have a public so in this public here we can say in our member function that we have we want to have a member function that is going to output the data so to out only to output so we can mention that this member function is going to be of a type void which is going to be output which is going to output our data to, for output so now what we have done here, well, now what we have done, we have created, we have uh, declared a member function called output as a public and a private variables. So this private variable, which are interest, balance, and term, it can be accessed only in this output function, but it cannot be out sex in outside of this function. So you cannot use them in your int main. So 
the output void output in my public uh, which is public i'm going it's going to be displaying the what it's going to be displaying everything that we like maybe if the interest the balance based on how we want to create our class uh, our program how our program is going to run so but you will find that uh, in this a uh, we will need to get the interest we'll need to get the what to get the balance and we'll need to get that number of terms so in order for us to do that which means we can also have a void function which is going to get, get data you can say get data in this void function get data is going to get the data of an interest the balance and the number of term so when you have this function called get data which is going to get those functions you might also want to change the data that you got there when i say you want to change you might also want to sometimes you might want to change uh, maybe you were like this data if it's initialized it can be initialized as one or two sometimes you might want to change those values so we can also have another one which can change which can change those data so which means we can also still have a void function so this void function is going to be called we can say void set data this is void set data we are going to set those data so when we are going to set those data you will see that which data are we going to set them here so in this data we have double we have balance you might want to set only double or balance or all of them so if you want to set all these data you can declare inside this that you have to you want to set maybe to new interest to again but the name is too much i will just say new int like that we know that is new interest and new balance double again new new balance and again int we can say new term term is fine so this is then this is our void function that is going to set these functions so in this void function that is going to set those functions we can say in this void functions we can say okay we have we already have the one for outputting we have the one for the functions to get the data we have the function to get to set data so when we have this function to get set data in this function of ours because we are working with a what we are working with a with money sometimes you might find that a person might write different maybe a wrong amount you might find that a person is saying when they enter the amount the person say negative 1000 which is not accurate which is not correct so we can also add another function that that function it must check so if i have to add that function is only going to be checking if what if a uh, those data that the user is going to be entering they are correct so i can still make the, my function to be in the private because i'm only going to be checking things that are in private so i can say okay i'm going to check which means i can say i'm going to have a void check check you can say check data or just void check so this void check is a private function but it can access this member variable and it can be used within the code within the program only within the members of the class of this class that we have so now after that we might also want to return we might also want to return um uh, the data maybe we want to return the answers the solutions or maybe we want to return the interest and the balance so which means i can also add again in my private my public that okay i want to return what am i going to return here this function is returning for example it can be written in double so which means we can have a double we can have a double so double the names of your functions remember they must be more of the same with the name of your what with the they must be more closer with the name of 
what it's going to do. So it can be double a uh, read. For example, you can show, you can say show interest Show interest is fine. So, and then you can also have another double. Then you can say show a balance. So when we have double to show balance, the other thing here, you saw yesterday that uh, when we're working with some, with our uh, structure, when we write there, when we say, see out balance dot it was not working the reason part that was illegal in c plus plus what we were doing yesterday is not allowed so we have to create a function the function that we have to create it can be a function that is going to convert our interest to function to maybe it's going to convert or to uh, not to convert interest is going to be a function that is going to write a formula that that formula is going to show us the new balance so we're still going to do that for now so i just want us to take it piece by piece so when i say piece by piece i want you guys i don't want to confuse you i want you guys to understand step by step what happens when we build a function uh, classes so we have built our private public and the private in these classes so now what i'm going to explain i'm going to explain some few concept we have things called accessor accessor and we also have something called mutator so accessor and mutator and mutator so when we say accessor accessors they are functions let me write here down let me okay it's fine let me just say accessor accessor are functions that access even its name is saying itself accessor it access data when i say data i mean vary like it access information of the private variables they don't change they don't do anything they just get the that information if for example if when I say they get, if it's interest, it was 10%, it's just going to get that interest is 10% as it is. So it, the, it are functions that access data of the what of the private variables or the access data of in the what of the private variable in the class. But those accessors, when the question can come, they say, which one is an accessor function? Accessor function, you see them by the name get. So in our code here, we will see that we have get data. So get data, it's getting a data from this. It is going to be getting data in this word, in this classes. So this is our new, this is our accessor. This is an accessor. It's an accessor. So when it's an accessor, we also have a mutator. Mutator. So mutator are functions are functions are functions that changes they change changes what the data when i say changes the data i mean that they are functions that change the variables this variable this interest it can be interest but those functions that changes the variable you see them by the name says um by the name said set they set it to something. So example, here in our code, we have in public, we have a function called set data. The moment when you say set, it's going to change this interest to another thing, which is new int. So those functions, they are mutators. So which means this function, it's what? It's a mutator. So now at least you understand the difference between a mutator This is the difference between a mutator and a function. This is the difference between the mutator and the what? The function. It's the mutator and the accessor. Hello? 
Yes, I just want to find out since it's a mutator, wouldn't it need um, the end sign in the function? The end sign? Yes, and since, uh, since it's what, a mutator. Okay. Yes. Like the way, okay, can you repeat your question? Okay, so I'm just trying to understand is a mutator similar to like a referencing function? Mm, referencing? No, not really. A mutator is okay. just a function that is going to set, let's say, for example, I think you will understand when I proceed with this function, yeah? but it's going to just change those values, only the, these variables. If I have to change, for example, interest, I'm going to say interest is going to be equals to the new int. So, which means the variable that it was assigned to interest, it won't be now in interest, it's going to be in what? In new int. That's why they are just the normal functions, but they, their duties are to change the variables. Okay, thank you. All right. So, for so access, also they are same, they are just normal functions, but they just get those variables. So now, when you have under you have this understanding of these two terms so when we have a um, public and the private so when you call your classes when you call your public classes like your public mem uh, functions we use something called a scope resolution So a scope resolution is represented by dot dot. So when you call your function, it will start with its data type. So I'm going to start by calling one function here. The first function that I can call is that get data. The get data, it have a void get data, then which means I'm going to say void. Then when I say void, I'm going to first write the name of my class. The name of my class is account. Then I will use the uh, uh, scope resolution. Then after that, I'm gonna name write the name of my function, which is get data, which is already there. Then after that, I can now write what is the duty of this, this get data. So that's how we do it in the uh, scope resolution. So they can ask you what is this dot dot this as scope resolution and scope resolution it does the same work as dot operator the one which we're using yesterday when we say the account dot is the same it's just that this one when you are working with functions you use a semicolon a colon with two colon without a space so but they do the same job so now in this get data i can ask a user see out enter Let's check what we can start with. Enter uh, the balance. I will just say I'm trying. Remember this here when I'm teaching, I'm just trying to formulate my own scenario, like the, my own functions. How I want to write a function that is going to give us how much a person can have in two years, three years, or one year or twelve months. It does not matter. So it will say enter, enter a balance. So when you enter the balance here, a user will enter the balance. We will have a C in. So you can see this is getting the data. When we say C in, we're going to say what? Balance. In, you see, balance is also showing us there. Then you can also say again, C out. Enter. Enter what interest. Let's go for interest. Then we're going to have C in interest. Let me see if, okay, it's interest. It must show interest. Which means I'm not typing it perfect. I N T okay I N T I N T okay yeah I just wanted to see it then so the other one what can we get again let's also get the term C out I will just say enter term né? we know what is term enter term C 
see in term so we have written a function that uh, is going to get those data now as we have said you may find that a person can make a mistake here when you say enter balance a person enter negative point so we don't want that so we can have an if statement in our if statement we are going to call our function called check wait check we can say in this function if if in void check we're going to say void okay let me see how i can do this one okay void check okay then we're going to say write a void check we're just gonna say check we are calling what the function called check you just call it only here when you call this function we just call the function check in our also oh, not here as writing it in a wrong place here at the end we can say check okay oh, that's fine i will check i will check these messages many people are talking sending me message here in whatsapp so for it check so now we have managed to write about the void check uh, get data function so we can go to write about to show interest showing interest is double so this show interest we can say is show the same is the same i'm repeating the same thing actually i just check what is show interest show interest is double so i'm going to start with double then i write the name of my class then after that i use scope resolution then i say show it's gonna show me show interest then after show interest i check does it have something in show interest there we only have the braces there is nothing then we can write show interest is going to return interest you can see interest you do the same again double for balance account then show balance is there then return balance then we go to second we go to second a uh, second one let me okay let me just check quickly but i will okay it's fine that's a pain in here but okay, let me leave this phone then we have already show interest show balance then we left with show output so to show output before show output but it does not matter the how i write my functions but i will just say let me start with set the one for set so for set the void set i'm going to say in this void set here yeah? What's happening here? Okay, it's fine. So for show, let me see. I wanted to uh, get, is it set? Yeah. Set data is void again. We're going to use void and then it's account you see how simple it is it's just the matter of following the same you see here for set that not set data is it set data said yeah it's set data in set data we have i can just i will just copy it because of i don't want to 
I don't want to type everything there. I'll just copy up to there. Copy. Then type it. Print, yeah, it's fine. Then enter and then in void account set data, we are going to set all this one from new interest. Our interest is going to be equal to new int semicolon our balance. Going to be equal to new balance. Then our which one uh, term going to be equal to new term. So we have set uh, this void like the for the set data. Then let me check which one I'm left with. So we are left with a uh, output and also check we are left with output. So let me also write the one for check. It was void. OK, it's void. Uh, account again and is check. So in this void check, remember some of the things uh, when we are here in course 1512, you need to know course 1511. Some of the things you have to like when I I'm not going to explain much. So in this check, I'm going to use an if statement. If balance, we are checking that if interest or balance, if balance, if balance is less than zero or a interest is less than also zero or what or him or term is less than zero two yeah it qualified because you cannot have negative so what must happen we're going to see out enter i will just re-enter valid data enter valid valid data then i will exit i will use this function called exit one exit one so exit one it will work also you must include here yeah, in your hash include you must include hash include cstd cstd lib then we have for oh, this one account and let's check the one for void again we have void mm, the void one we're going to use is for output account void account Okay, let to let me say I'm um, okay. Okay, then for this one we have void account and then is for output. So in the output function, we are going to output C out. So here in C out, we can say C out balance or we say balance is balance. But we're still going to fix this. I just want the reason part for this one. I just want you guys to get to understand how to write a class. So we're still going. We're still gonna do a new, a very proper question. 
see out. This is just an introduction for class. So now we have written our functions. Now we have written everything in our functions. So now when we have written everything in our functions here, what can we do? We are left with, okay, so far, there is many things that in this uh, program I didn't do. I didn't initialize like that, okay, a balance must be calculated how for the formula. So I'm going to first run. I just want us to first run this code. So now we're going to go to an int main. Int main. In our int main, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to have create an object or an instance. So we're going to call an account. In our account, we're going to say, we can say, Maybe the uh, I wanted a small name like which okay let me say ACC I will just gonna say ACC as an as our object so now when we have this what do we want to call in this function so the first thing that we do you check your functions in our function we want to we want to call this function called uh, we want to call this function to get the data. What is get data? The first one, it was void get data. So void get data, when we call it, we're going to say account dot get data. Then the other one, you're going to say the other one, which after the get data, we have an account for check for check is not an account, it's private. Né? So the private account, you cannot call it in the main function. That's why I did it private. So we're going to call another one. Let me check, we'll call the get data, then show interest, show interest to return the interest. Okay, it's fine. And then show balance. Then we're gonna call set data, it's fine. This one, we don't have to. Then we're gonna call another one for set data. For setting data, it's going to set those datas. So this one, when we call it, we can call it in different ways. I will show you how for, okay, yeah. Let me say set data for set, okay, output. Okay, set that, okay, get data, data, set data, yes, yeah. set data. account dot set data in set data we have two types of data we can write i can say the set data it was double int double balance and double interest so i can just set them int i can say three comma double data balance let's say is two thousand comma and then interest is 0, 0,35. Then the second one I will call, let me check. So this one is just going, when I call this one, it's going to return, just going to return the data. So when it's going to return, I can say C out because it's just written. If I say C out, then I say account dot check and then show balance and then maybe i can put an end line here then again i will do the same show interest then I can say for the last one, which I think is going to be the last one we've shown, we've set, we've check, we have output. So we're gonna do the one for account, 
output reason when I write out our account like this is because of those data. They are already what like output. It's already it have a C out there. So there is no need for me to write many things. Then I will write return zero. So if you check here in my account, the first thing what we did, this is just a preview. So you will see that we wrote a, fun, a class with a name. We wrote member functions. Our functions, member functions that they are in public and then in private we have variables and only one member function. The reason for this one is just to check, validate the data if they are correct so that the problem program it can stop. So when we write in here, you will see that I use exit one. So this exit one is going to, if this code is raw, if a person enter wrong data for balance, and also maybe interest or term is going to abort this uh, program. So maybe I can say I can write a statement. Here. I can say see out the code, the program. The program will abort. Abort. I think there is to be the nice one. But let me just write it like that. But I think there is to be there. So, and then after that, we call everything in our main. Then we can build our code. Then we check all the errors that we have done. The error, yeah, okay, it's fine. Let me put that semicolon. So I'm going to try to enlarge here so that we can see all the errors in our code so that we can fix them. So we land we are at line written zero, line 70 is fine, okay. Then let's build again. So the first one here, it says in member function void account dot dot get data. There is semicolon something there. Let me check it. I saw something that is 27. Enter term. See in term. Okay, there it is. There. Return. Okay, return interest. So these are just a minor issues that we can solve. account dot set okay this one here it only accept three remember it's one two three so that dot it must be comma not dot so it think maybe there are two variables okay see out account dot show okay here we put those are the minor things that when you are coding you can you can fix them later until your program is fine so our program now is okay. Then you can build our code. We can run our code. So when we run our code, it will ask us to enter the balance. We can enter 3000. Remember, we wrote a code in such a way that it's going to change also the values. So we can enter five, enter interest, let's enter 0, 0,07. And term length, enter seven. Then, do you see that what happens? I want you guys to observe what, when I say those, uh, you remember you asked a question you know, about the one to set. Hello? Yes. You remember, yes, yes. You remember you asked a question about to set. You know? So this question here, we are setting the data. We set our own data, you know, which is 3,000. 0, 0,7 and 7. But when it returns, it's returning 2,000, 3,000, and the balance is only returning the new variables that we set them. So the purpose of me to write this code is that you guys, you see, let me go quickly, you see the importance of this one to set. So 
that one when it says set it changes did you see we wrote 3000 in our code we wanted it to calculate for 3000 but it changes those data that we have that's a mutator that's what a mutator does an accessor function it only get the value this get data it was an accessor it get those data but it does not do anything does not change them its job is to get the data so those two questions that i'm talking about they are more important in terms of uh, when you are ask, writing, when you are answering a question paper, they will ask you what is mutator, what is uh, accessor. Those questions they will ask you. So you need to know that. So now, after when we have done that, we also now let's say we have done whatever that we did in this code. You have seen it. So maybe if you have a question, you can ask me. No questions from my side. OK, so now I'm going to. And uh, and let me see how many people are here because some they can be able to get in. All right, we are two today. So now in this question here, what we are doing, I'm going to run uh, this code again. I want to show you that this code can stop. I'm going to say negative four for balance and then negative seven and negative zero comma five and uh, not, not zero comma five let's say negative five and then maybe for interest our supposed to is fine let's just leave it you see what happens it didn't want it us to do anything and enter valid data you enter you like you are supposed to say maybe right you entered valid data the program will abort with a there must be to be there the program will about you see what happens in our code that we wrote today now so that is the this is the function this function is the one which is working so the programming 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 use logics whatever when you are probing problem prog uh, coding remember about the logic logic your things must move according to the logic so we wanted that the moment if you enter those data which are wrong in the get data function what must happen? The program must stop. That's what we wanted in this code. So if you don't have any question, I'm going to for today's lesson was for you guys to understand what we do. We are doing here. So tomorrow we are going to continue based on the constructor. So I'm just going to give you what is a constructor. A constructor, it uses a constructor uses the same use the same name this is just an introduction same name as a class and a constructor it must not have a it does not does not have a return type return type you don't write void in a constructor like a function a constructor is a function but this function is used to initialize it should initialize variables or values. So we're going to talk more about constructor tomorrow. So if you guys, you don't have any question, then I'm going to see you tomorrow. Then you can revise what we did today. And I already sent you that question. You can try it. Then maybe if you have Nico, do you have any question? No, thank you. All right, then I will okay. see you. I just want to find out if uh, you will be able to make the recordings available for us. Yes, it's available. I'm gonna I, I'm gonna send you the link. Okay, thank you so much. All right, no problem. Um, for you cancel. Are we having cost fifteen eleven now? Uh, today we're gonna start it tomorrow. I'm gonna send okay. you guys the timetable today. I'm I want to sleep. Because I'm um, tired, yes, I'm from, I've worked seven hours, yeah, so. No problem, thank you.